Look, we all know by now that the housing market is on fire right now in 2021. And if you guys are thinking about selling your home or you are in the process of selling, good for you because you're going to be coming out really well ahead right now. Unfortunately, many of you guys are going to be leaving a lot of money on the table by selling your homes. And that is the reason why I'm actually making this video, because I just felt like I had to talk to you about th this one system that is making home selling very easy and very convenient you know nowadays guys with technology and how fast some of these real estate companies are growing you know obviously the market is really competitive really saturated and it's become even more saturated with the rise of the eye buyers you know selling your home to an eye buyer is really simple i mean literally you can probably take anywhere between you know just a few minutes from selling you know sending out a quick application online and then receiving an offer which typically takes within you know maybe 24 hours 48 hours or whatever the case might be and then you literally have a buyer who has cash and is more than willing to close on your home at your convenience. So these iBuyer companies, such as Zillow Offers, OfferPad, Open Door, and you know all the other iBuyer companies out there, they're making home selling just extremely simple for homeowners. And obviously, you know, you get to cut out all the, you know, all the really crappy things of selling a home, right? Like staging, like preparing to sell, like having pictures taken, like, you know, dealing with real estate agents and dealing with home buyers and dealing with home buyers that need finance. And then at the end of the day, their finance might actually fall through before the closing, which leaves you in a pretty good, you know, a pretty bad spot. So these companies really make, you know, the whole process a lot simpler. But what a lot of you guys don't know is that the whole system really gets to cost you the homeowner a lot of money and you might not know these things and that is really the reason why i want to talk to you real quick on this video is because a lot of people just simply don't know the true cost of selling their homes to one of these i buyers now on the surface selling your home to an i buyer might sound like an actual means of saving money on the sale of your home take for instance zillow offers and open door both companies charge you five percent right now as i'm making this video for you know buying your home and doing the whole service whereas if you do it with the traditional route of getting a real estate agent you get to pay roughly around six percent commissions three percent goes to your listing agent and three percent goes to the buyer's agent so obviously that is a savings of one percent and depending on the sales price of your home, that can be a significant amount of money. It seems like you're actually saving some money and on top of it, you have all the convenience factors of literally selling your home to a cash buyer. And it's just, you know, very, very, very simple. However, if you guys don't really know the process of selling your home to an iBuyer, it basically moves as this. You go online, you fill out a form and within minutes you get a a tentative offer. I know a lot of people think that's the actual offer that these companies are giving you, but that's actually contingent on them doing an inspection on your home. And this is literally where they get you. It's basically a go it all goes with the inspection now these companies are going to try to find everything possible that is wrong with your property i mean they're going to be even going through all the little crevices and nukes and things and you know anything that might be wrong with your home they're going to go through it and on top of it they're going to inflate the repairs that they need on your home and this is where a lot of people end up sort of getting lowball. At the beginning, they're not going to lowball you because they know that, I mean, if they give you some crappy offer online, you're just going to go ahead and click off the website and then you're going to go enlist with a real estate agent or do something else. So at the beginning, they're not going to lowball you, but they'll lowball you once they do the actual inspection. So if you guys have a property that actually might need a few repairs and, you know, little things like that, just be aware that if you do get one of these iBar companies, you might actually be taking a 10 to 15 percent haircut on your on your actually sales price. And as I was doing some research on this video, I saw that it was very prominent, you know, between a lot of sellers where literally these companies were now lowballing these homeowners and it just didn't seem mathematically feasible to sell their homes to one of these i buyers so if you guys are considering selling your home to a zillow offers or an open door an offer an offer pad or you know any of the other i buyer companies out there 
just go with the mindset that at the end of the day, these are cash buyers. These are buyers that also are not looking at your property at the beginning and they are in the business of making money. They are not trying to flip your property, but what they are going to want to do is to buy your home at a much lower purchase price so that they can relist it right away and make the profit profit on the sale, not necessarily on you know the service that they're giving you or anything like that anything else is secondary obviously nowadays we know that zillow has a mortgage company so if they get to do your mortgage as well that might be you know means for them to get additional revenue but that honestly isn't really what they're looking for right now all of these i buyer companies are just trying to take market share and they're doing it in these means of trying to cut out the traditional way of listing a home now i'm not saying that selling your home you know the traditional route will always work out to your advantage but what i am saying is you have to take advantage of the present situation right now what it's favoring the home seller and honestly it doesn't even matter whether you are somewhere in california and you're getting you know you, you just there are no houses or you know you're somewhere in wisconsin or wyoming and there's also no houses so it just doesn't matter whatever you are in this country honestly there are too many buyers out there and there are few sellers so when you limit yourself to selling your home to an, a zillow or an open door or any of the other companies you're literally just limiting yourself because you can negotiate anything on their offer if zillow says that your home that they're going to offer you three hundred thousand dollars on your home that's literally all they're going to offer you and that's the preliminary offer that's not the offer after the repairs so guys understand that these companies once again you know they're looking to buy your home as cheaply as possible so that they can sell it for as high as they can especially now in the current market price some of you guys know that in your market you know some homes can be selling for a million dollars over asking and that's not uncommon nowadays especially if you live in a hot market somewhere in california or texas or you know new york new jersey uh georgia whatever you know it doesn't really matter there are so many buyers right now flush with cash especially moving from other states where the cost of living is so much higher, looking to buy in states where the cost of living is a lot lower. Take, for instance, California sellers trying to buy homes in Texas where the cost of living is so much lower or trying to buy or New Yorkers literally trying to buy houses down in Florida. In conclusion, my advice to you is to look at all the options available to you. And the iBuyer is definitely one option that you should definitely look into, especially because it doesn't cost any money for you to get a quote. It doesn't cost you any money to get an offer on your home or to you know, do an inspection with them. You can cancel pretty much at any time. Obviously, make sure that you reach out to these companies directly and you get this written even though it is posted on their website now the other thing that i would do if i was selling a home is to definitely interview two to three real estate agents who can actually give you advice on what's happening in your area in your market based on your property and that way you are having all of the possibilities available for you especially if right now selling your home on the open market makes the most sense and that's the other thing guys is for you to actually give yourself enough time don't put yourself in a situation where you have to go one way or the other only where you're just stuck in one and nowadays it it's happening a lot more than you know than, than ever before because you know a lot of people are looking to sell their homes and buy another one and they have to rush into buying this other property because there are just no houses out there if you give yourself enough time to do things right get yourself prepared if selling a home is something that you're thinking about start you know cleaning out start putting things away gonna have the mindset that you know you are going to either go with the i buyer route or you're gonna actually sell it on the open market and you're gonna have to do all the other things such as taking pictures and you know you have to move out quickly so that you can go and buy the next house quickly as well so just have the right mindset and you know don't put yourself in one situation over the other and that's basically a guide i just wanted to you know send you guys this video because just a lot of people are getting burnt by these iBar companies that don't really you know understand what uh you know selling a home entails like and look losing 10 to 15 percent of your equity or on the sales price of your home is a lot of money it's dumb if you only look at this one option and these companies are literally selling the option of selling to them 
you know, as something that's actually saving the homeowner money. Anyways, that's it, guys. I'm done rambling for now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the video. If you are actually selling your home right now to an iBuyer, I would love to get your opinion on it. And let me know what you think about the video. If you liked it, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. And I will see you in the next one.